There's the photos and there's the CD. Right, let's see. Oh, I love this song. I love this song. Happy 1989 Taylor's version release day, guys. And you know, even if you're not a Swifty and you're watching this, I'm sure you know. Okay, if you know me, I'm sure you know that today is 1989 Taylor's version release day. Obviously, this video won't be coming out on the release day. It'll probably be coming out some point on the weekend, but anyway, hi, yeah? Currently, as like right now, as I'm recording this introduction, I've listened to Welcome to New York and Blank Space. And I hate Welcome to New York, but I was up there and vibing Blank Space. So obviously, like we've already heard the main tracks, you know, like Welcome to New York, all the way to New Romantics. But if there's anything that like I really liked about a song, and if or if there's something that I really didn't like about about one of the songs, I'll say it after I've listened to the whole original album. But this video is mainly about like me unboxing my 1989 CDs, if they come today. They might not. This is probably why the video is going to be a bit delayed. One of them's on, on their way to me. The other one, I haven't even got a confirmation email that is left yet. But anyway, and then obviously talking about the five ball tracks. I try to be in the 1989 mood. As you can tell, I am not. Um, I don't own anything blue except from th this juicy jumper, which I will be wearing later on in the video, I suppose. I put on this uh, bracelet because when I tried to make friendship bracelets for the first time, I made this one and it tried to represent the debut era. Like, it's got TS, like, because obviously it's self-titled. Then I tried to do it in, like, these colours. But I guess it's kind of 1989 colours now. Anyway, let's get into it. The I remember, in other words, it's so similar to the, the question one. <laughs> we were actually ready for one, so it's actually sampled, like, let's be real well. Okay, I listened to all the tracks from, like, the original album, except from, obviously, Wildest Dreams and this love, because I've heard it many times. And I've written down all of my thoughts, so, you know. In Out of the Woods, guys, like, I heard, like, the man voice before, but why was the man voice very in my ear? I didn't want to hear that. I don't want to be hearing a man on a Taylor Swift track. If it's got no future, you know what I mean? I don't need this irrelevant doozy. He's probably a part of the band or whatever, but shush, okay? The bridge bangs every single time. Going back to style, obviously, I'm going reverse. Sorry. I have nothing more to say other than the, st the guitar riff bangs. Like, normally. Uh, uh, like, it did before, but, like, it just sounds so much more crisp. And it's just good to get up and dance to. All you had to do was stay. It's still bang out. I have nothing much to say about that one. I was still dancing in my room. Okay, listen. Shake it off. You know, obviously, it's like, shake it off. Uh, you know, and it does the two claps. I'm not on about those claps, right? I'm on about that you can hear claps more clearly in, like, the verses. Just, like, like just just, just slightly. And I was like, oh, my God. I wish you would. Uh, the intro sounded a bit odd. But in the last verse, I noticed there was, like, a... Uh, like, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, but I heard, like, some thing, and I thought that was, like, quite cool. Right. With recent re recordings, you know, Speak Now, if this was a movie, I could very much clearly tell that it wasn't come back, come back, come back to me, Eli, and it was come back to me here, like, you know? Um, this one, I can hear stand back wasted even more, and I thought it'd be the reverse effect. You know what? Not I, I never even hear it, like, I normally hear stand, stand back where you stood, but for some reason, I could just hear stand back wasted more clearly. Anyway, a bad blood, I have nothing much to say other than the fact the vocals sound a bit more mature. And then again, like I said, wildest love, uh, wildest love? Wildest dreams, I skipped. And then how you get the girl, it was kind of odd, like, you know, like, the bit at the beginning where it's like, uh, 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 uh that's new romantics. Guys, I can't think of it. Anyway, I've just written it as ah uh, ah, uh, more prominent. I can also hear a tambourine in it, apparently. Oh, and just before the chorus, I heard like a little synth build up. I don't know if it's a synth, right? I don't know any instrument, like musical instruments and names and things, but I heard it slightly like rose up and then it boom into the chorus. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I know, but it's just the ah uh, I ah uh, 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 I at the start, guys. It sounded odd, it sounded weird, it did, I didn't like it. And then obviously, because every other bloody end of the line rhymes to it, it's like the whole bloody rhyming stanza, bruv. That all sounded off, like the whole verse, the first verse just sounded off because the uh, 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 I was wrong. It sounded weird, it sounded off, uh, 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 anyway. And then clean, I'm quite happy with this one. The production was so much more clearer, like in the beginning, everything, chorus, everything. It was just so much better. Onto the deluxe tracks. Wonderland. Something just sounded very, very off to me. I, I don't know what it was. I just, I genuinely, I can't pinpoint this one. Like, at least in I know places, like, it's the, uh, I, you're in love. 
I don't know why. I have nothing bad to say about this one. I think she nailed this one quite well. Except for the fact it started to make me cry. And then finally, New Romantics. <sighs> I would say I have nothing bad about this one because I was up and dancing like, Baby, I can build a castle. And I'm all the bricks they threw at me. Yeah, anyway. And you know, the production was very well done. Like, I did like it. Like, it just sounded more, I want to say crisp again. But you know, like the, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. It sounded off to me. It sounded too high pitched. Like, why was I hearing, ah, 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 ah? Like, it was never that high pitched before. It was more like a, ah, ah, ah. And then the last one was up there. But the rest of them were like more of a, ah, instead of a, ah. But all of them were, ah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's it for like the original track. So, oh God, I'm excited for the vault tracks. I'm going to move my camera over there because I'm going to be looking at the genius lyrics and I'm going to be reading along with it. Because, uh, yeah, let's go, guys. Okay, I do apologise if it starts echoing. Because my phone is, like, in my desk. So, which is kind of, it's, like, caved in. So, I do apologise. First vault track. And I'm not going to say its name because I'm not even monetized yet. So, I don't want to break any chances of getting monetized in the future. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's go. <laughs> the, the outro... I, oh, I don't remember what it was. I think it, uh, when I was watching Ali Sheenan's video. I'm so sorry if that's not how I say your last name. I'm very sorry, babe. He said a lot of people reckon the, the title of the song is shouted out like the stay and all you have to do is stay. And in the outro, it does that. And if they call me up, you know, it might be worth it for once. And if I'm going to be... Also, I might I just say, so you know like the, the CD slash vinyl colours, Rose Garden and Crystal Blue Skies, they're, they're both from Blank Space. Whereas we've got all the other colours, Sunrise Boulevard, Aquamarine, and Tangerine as well. Like, I'm, I have a feeling that this one's going to be the single then. If, the production was quite interesting. I don't know what I was expecting. Like, no, I was expecting, most people were expecting a poppy glitter pen song. I was expecting like a slow ballad for some reason, even. No, like, like, nine has none. But, you know, don't. I was expecting the production to be more like you are in love kind of vibes this was giving me this love vibes the pre-chorus is very catchy i won't lie but i prefer the pre-chorus to the chorus <laughs> anyway next one what is the next one i've forgotten i'm not gonna lie say don't go okay right so i forgot to i forgot to say it i forgot to give my ranking my prediction on my ranking for the vault tracks and i just want to say i put say don't go at the bottom i put it at the bottom okay starting from top i know it's very random because now it's in the middle of me reacting to the fucking songs but so number one i had now that we don't talk and obviously i haven't listened to that one yet so i want i want to see if it actually is. i put that there because i always forget about this one whenever i list like the vault tracks i always forget that one i'm like oh what's the what's the last what's the other one I forget that one so i feel like it's gonna really surprise me then number two was Suburban Legend, just because I feel like that's giving me very dreamy vibes. It's giving like Wonderland, it's it, it's giving World of Dreams. Uh, number three was, would have been Is It Over Now? When I first heard the titles, I was like, oh my god, I'm claiming that one because like the title is just giving me out of the woods vibes. But then because I'm so like excited for it, I feel like it's going to disappoint me the most. That's why I put it in number three. <laughs> uh, oh wait, uh, S-L-U-T was actually number three because I feel like that's why i'd rank it is it over now was number four because of those reasons sorry i just got a bit confused say don't go was gonna be last just because i didn't really have any like i didn't really have any thoughts about it i thought it it would kind of give me all you had to do was stay vibes because obviously say don't go and you know and you know what it does give me all you had to do stay vibes because all you had to do was stay is track five it's this sad heartbreak song about I'm not going to get back to, back with you now, but I would have if you just stayed with me. You know what I mean? It's like, it's got sad lyrics coated over a big boppy beat. And Say Don't Go is exactly that as well. Oh, but guys, this was good. I don't know, like, reading along with the lyrics, I caught onto them really quickly. Say, say, go, 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 go. And that also gives stay vibes, you know what I mean? As I said in um, the first one as well. Her vocals in this as well. Very nice. Very good. Right. So next one. What's the next one? Now that we do talk. Oh, the beat is a bit, it's giving kind of clean. Oh, the, it's giving question. It's giving question. Okay. That was really short, but wow, guys. So the first verse was giving me very heavy question vibes. And then as we got into the verse two, it was giving like new romantics beat. 
the beat of it you know what i quite like that one don't know if i like it as much as say don't go but you know what i really like it and the short songs you know like glitch vigilante sh and like you know other short songs they are actually really good like i really like glitch i won't lie so i've also just seen that suburban legends is really short as well let's get into it suburban legends ah! okay the production was given mastermind and uh, all throughout the song i was just thinking this should have been a midnight not 1989 but one the title suburban legends <laughs> 1989 is a city album it is all about new york the first track welcome to new york see with welcome to new york being the first track it's like oh welcome to the city life and then this song's like i want to be back in in my suburban town like I, I don't know if nashville is suburban but you know what i mean like maybe maybe she means nashville especially verse two it's a very poignant at her her childhood obviously you know we ended up back at a class reunion i had a feeling that suburban legends would be about relationship previous to 1989 obviously like, as in when she was living not in new york and then obviously talking about how like it was just a chapter in the old diaries this is why it's giving me very heavy midnight vibes obviously like i said the production being similar to mastermind in my opinion but it's like she's reminiscing on the fact like she wishes with this guy at her reunion and she's thinking about this past relationship and she's thinking about everything that went on in the relationship you know with the the pages being ripped out of the diary it's like it's given the sleepless nights of midnight guys i should stop doing this this is 989 not um not midnight anyway it's a good song not one of my favorites but it's a good song final track is it over now come on don't disappoint me Even oh what's going on guys Okay, this is very clearly about the bridge. Why did I ever doubt that it wouldn't be my favourite? This is giving a 1989 track with the, with the repeated bridge, you know, like, oh my god, it's like, I wish you would. I wish you would come back. I wish I never hung up the phone like I did, okay? She wants it. Ah! Oh, I love this song. I love this song. So this is clearly about, like, she's trying to get over this relationship with trying to get with other people. Just knows that she's always thinking about this guy. And then the bridge! Any rumours about my hips and thighs and my whispers sides? Oh, Lord, I think about jumping off a very tall something just to see you come running. This is my favourite. I don't know if I, can, I should say that, actually. I think I'm going to have to listen to Say Don't Go Again to work out which one's my favourite. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, my CDs are here. My phone is currently on charge, so, um, you know, you get a bad angle, but... I can't open it! Why can't I open it? Hurry up! Okay, I wrote, I'm opening it. I'm opening it. Okay. Woo. Ah! Oh my god, it's gorgeous, bro. Look at that. And then you've got everything on the back. Oh. I thought it'd be like, you know, the original 1989. Like, it's got this case thing for, for the Polaroid. Where's anyway. the thing? Okay. Guys, I'm struggling. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can't. No, because normally there's like something on the side where you can pick out and like unwrap it, but I can't do that. I never normally open my CDs this way, but I'm gonna see why, because it's a bloody, it's a mess. It's horrible. Okay, we're finally. Oh, wow. You really just don't want me to have you, do you? Ugh. Okay. There we go. There's the photos and there's the CD and the disc. I'll be opening them in a minute because obviously that's some juicy stuff. So I want you to wait and watch the rest of the video. Okay, now I've got the lyric booklet out. Obviously it's got the same picture as the back on it. Right, let's read the prologue quick. I learned lessons, paid prices and tried to don't say it. Don't say it. I'm sorry. I have to say it. Shake it off. She's such a millennial. I was born in 1989 and reinvented for the first time in 2014 and a part of me was reclaimed in 2023. Oh, oh my god, look at that, like bonus pictures. Oh, and then there's Slut and Say Don't Go. That picture's so cute, oh my gosh. Okay, time for the best part, opening the Polaroids. Right, let's see. Okay, so this is the first one. 
Oh my god, there's lyrics on the back. I didn't even realize. So there's the first one. These are actual on the on the website description of these. It says these are photo well, it literally says it right there. Photos from the vault. And these are literally photos from the 1989 era. So there's the second one. That's the third one. And then there's this one. And then there's this one. Five images. So I can imagine one lyric is from one song each. Anyway, they, they, they're really cool. Um, I really want to put them on my wall, but I think I should, like, laminate them or something first. Hopefully, my other CD comes soon enough, like the one on the poster, because I do want to show you guys the poster. My other CD came, and this should be the blue one. No, they told me this was actually coming on Saturday, but did it? No, it's Monday now. Oh my god, it's got one of the, the, the sticker things. Obviously, I've got my phone's reflection on there, but this is the cover that you see, like, everywhere on streaming and stuff. CDs are usually not this hard to open. Come on now. Can you see? Like, I've literally got, like, the top open. But I can't... Uh, I can't do anything with it. I'm just going to use some nail scissors. There we go. Yay. Finally. I finally got it out of the bloody thing. Everyone's probably seen it by now. The blue CD. Got the lyric booklet. Did I show you the lyric booklet in the pink one? I'm not too sure. There is slightly different pictures in here. Like with this thing, they're different pictures to what the pink one was. Obviously, instead of it being pink, it's blue. With the poster. Apparently, this is Welcome to New York lyrics, which is the song that I'm not really fond of. But we've got it. There we go. There's a picture, obviously, of just Taylor. It's gonna go up on my wall somewhere. That's actually well cute. So it definitely is strawberry ice cream, though. I mean, you can't even see it on camera. You no, know, there's been a debate about what flavour that is. Definitely strawberry. It's pink, bruv. Anyway, yeah, it is Welcome to New York. January 23. Well, like, 2023 or, like, 23rd of January? Anyway. So yeah, that's what the back looks like. And then that's Taylor. So there we go. Now, I know I never actually got back to you with like the ranking of the vault tracks. And guys, I just can't rank them. Like, I'm not even being funny. They're too hard to rank. Literally, I will probably say that Is It Over Now is like my favourite. I feel like that's like the fan favourite at the minute. Then number two, I literally can't decide. Now, do, now that we don't talk and say don't go, I'll probably tide. And like, I just hate to say that Suburban Legends and Slut are in the last place. But that's why I'm ranking them, like, in third. I just can't rank them. They're all so good in, like, so many different ways. This is probably the hardest ranking ever. Like, we're speaking now, definitive ranking. Like, Electric Touch at number one. Foolish one, number two. Uh, why am I even telling you? This is about 1989. But anyway, continuing. Yeah, and then number three would be I Can See You. And then, what's the other one? And then number four would be Timeless. And then number six would be When Emma Falls In Love. I'm missing one. What is the last one? Anyway, like I said, this is not irrelevant. This is not relevant to the video. But yeah, that's my ranking. And it, and it's probably a cop out to say that. But genuinely, genuinely, it's really hard to rank. I think I need to listen to it more. Anyway, now time to wrap up the video, I guess. I'm very sorry <laughs> for not posting in like a month. I was going to do like, oh, what a week in my life videos. But they're not, they weren't interesting. It was not interesting. So I deleted them all and everything. I was going to do a ranking 1989 before. I think, I, I feel like I've already mentioned that. Yeah, the audio was weird and so i deleted it i was trying to be consistent but as you can tell that did not work out very much but you know while we're here while we're wrapping up um subscribe because you know i will be posting more in the future i might not be now but i will be in the future and you don't want to miss that so you know and and don't forget to smash that like button because it will help me okay and it will make me motivated to actually want to post more videos yeah i hope you enjoyed this it was basically just me being excited about 1989 Taylor's version release and you know unboxing the cds obviously i only have two i'm i'm not being funny i'm not very collecting so that's the end of the video and i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one i do actually have a next one coming up and obviously as the monthly usual it'll be my october wrap up make sure to follow me on instagram as well which is dominica reeves yeah because because i'll be posting like my november wrap up and like my 10th for the end and posts like that so yeah goodbye